is we have a system rolling through right now and air quality has somewhat improved. I want to show you our map right now and what we're seeing here in California. And again, just days ago, our visibility was down about one mile in a lot of these locations you see on our map. Uh, down in Bakersfield, we're in the south end of a valley here, so we're surrounded by mountains. So our visibility this morning only at four miles. So the smoke uh, layer is still pretty thick for us. But look at areas up to the north. If you're familiar with California, Fresno, San Francisco, a lot of people have heard of San Francisco, Sacramento, and Redding and even into parts of Oregon where the fires are burning, you can see visibility has improved greatly and we expect this to kind of continue as we go throughout today. And a lot of people maybe in Houston don't understand the dynamics of an inversion layer. So I wanted to talk about that because you may have family or friends on the West Coast. And what happens is we have very strong ridges of high pressure that pushes down on the atmosphere. And with our winds out of the north, it pushes all that smoke here to the Bakersfield area where we're located and it just can't escape. But with our pattern change, with a system out of the Pacific Northwest right now, we're going to see more of a southwest flow. And with that wind shift, it pushes that smoke more north and to the east, Maria. So this is kind of what we're going to be seeing as we go throughout the next few days here, which is good news for California. That certainly is great news, uh, Kevin. And you know, we also have had a wind shift. We had a cold front and here in uh, Texas, when we talk about cold front, especially in Houston, we don't really talk about a major cool down, but it's all in the winds for everywhere across pretty much the whole nation. It depends so much on what you have mountains or you have the ocean and then what uh, direction is that wind blowing?